Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, fire lighters from cotton wool pads and candle wax. I'm making today's video in our workshop so this is where we do um, some parts of things like our leather working and basket making and um, Nicola does her soap making and natural skincare products workshops out of our workshop and it's also somewhere that I use on a, a fairly regular basis just for doing things like um, in fact a little earlier I was getting some knives sharpened up ready for a bushcraft course um, at the weekend and so on so it's a a place that we use um, regularly uh, but back to today's topic um, making fire lighters uh, what we're gonna what we need it's very straightforward it's a saucepan heat source uh, an old tin that's been washed out we need some cotton wool pads uh, a candle and a pair of tweezers so it's all relatively straightforward. The candle wax is going to go into the uh, tin here. So I'm going to melt this. I mean, that's like a somewhat garish um, Christmas candle. It could just be the, the little bits that are left over, which is typically what I, I do um, tend to do. So the idea is I'm going to put um, boiling water in here on the heat source. And I'll pop this in like so. So it's kind of like a Bain Marie type affair. It is just much um, uh, easier, tidier to put your wax into the into the can there. So you can make your fire lighters. You're not. You know, I'm not going to use all of this wax up. So I could just let it set again, and then another time around I can do the same thing. And then so I'm gonna, once I've got the wax melted in my Bain Marie, I'm gonna hold on to them, dip them in. Now, what you're looking to achieve here is to get maybe two thirds of the cotton wool pad uh, soaked into the candle wax. You need to have something left over to be able to ignite, um, whether that be with a lighter or a matches or a fire steel, that kind of thing. But you need some cotton wool to be able to uh, actually ignite the steel. So about dipping it in about two thirds of the way down seems to seems to work. But once these are done, they work really, really well. Um, uh, so I've used these in the past and got sort of anything between five to seven minutes burn time out of them. So they're a, a really economical uh, a, a, and sort of useful way um, of producing man-made tinders. You may have seen videos I've done previously where I've spoken about man-made tinders. So for me, they're there as an emergency backup. Um, this is just going to kind of do that trick really, really well. So I shall get some water on and uh, get making. The wax has uh, melted in our tin, so I'm just going to dip in the cotton wool pads. So I've got them in my tweezers and in they go about two thirds of the way. And then bring that back out again slowly and let any drips come off. Uh, once it stops dripping there, I should just give it a, a little blow to cool it down, and then I'll be able to um, put it down somewhere without it sticking to it. So, done well, three there now, just do a, do a few more. So, just to go to that again. Hold your cotton wool pad in the tweezers into the melted wax. Pull it back out. Just let the excess wax drip off. Good blow to cool it down. And 
then we could just put that to one side. So really, really straightforward guys, and hopefully something that you will be able to emulate, do yourself, and uh, take with you on your bushcraft ventures. Yeah, I said earlier in this video, for me, um, man-made tinders are really a, a, an emergency backup, so I'm going to get this out of my fire lighting tin if I can't find dry tinder for any reason, so not natural tinders, if, I've, if I need to get a fire lit quickly because I've fall in a river or been caught in a sudden deluge that's when these things are going to come into the room so i will endeavor to get uh, more content out next week make sure you don't miss out by subscribing to either our our blog or our youtube channel uh, in the meantime take care and stay safe <laughs>